Over the last couple weeks, monkeypox news has exploded across the country. Cases are exponentially increasing all across the United States. With this week alone, we're up to more than 7,500 monkeypox cases in the United States. It seems to transmit from person to person more than originally expected. So now the questions become, what do HR managers and other employers do if one of your employees were to get monkeypox? At this point, I'm sure many of you are having flashbacks to to the horrors and decisions that had to be made during the beginning days of the COVID pandemic and how to treat you know employee absences and when should an employee go out and stay home and how long do they have to stay home for well we're here today to answer those questions for you it is expected that the rules and regulations for employees regarding monkeypox will continue to grow and expand over the next couple months, similar to how they did during COVID. Therefore, do not forget to subscribe to this channel so you do not miss out on any updates regarding your employees and monkeypox. Now let's jump right into it. At this point, given how much monkeypox is spreading around the country, the question has become not if, but when one of your employees will, will get monkeypox or will suspect it of having monkeypox. The symptoms that we're looking for are rashes or blisters that can either be localized to one area of the body or even generalized to another. These symptoms on the body look like pimples or blisters before they ultimately become painful and itchy for the infected person. In addition, many people often have flu-like symptoms in the days or weeks leading up to them actually you know, showing signs of blisters uh, or other rashes on the body. For many people, according to the CDC, these physical symptoms on the body will occur within about three weeks after the person becomes infected. If the person has flu-like symptoms, they're often going to experience the rashes or blisters within one to four days after those flu-like symptoms begin. So for you HR managers that are sitting there, well, how do I plan for this? How long do I expect an employee to be out if they were to contract monkeypox? The answer is, well, it, it's kind of a big window. Right now, the CDC is saying that most monkeypox infections last for about two to four weeks before they're ultimately cleared up and the person is no longer contagious. That means you're going to be without those employees again for about two to four weeks. So you may be sitting there and thinking, well, hey, you know, with COVID, we kind of let things skate by. You know, we, we really didn't enforce people going home. How contagious is monkeypox? At this point, the data is still yet to be decided, but we know it is contagious from a few different methods. The first being skin to skin contact. So for example, if a person has monkey pox on their hands and they go to shake the hands of another person, that other person could easily contract the virus at that time. Next, and maybe even more importantly, monkey pox can also spread from touching a surface that was recently touched by a person who had monkey pox. So if a person has monkey pox in their hands and then they go to touch a surface such as a door handle and you know that bacteria or that virus remains on the door handle and someone else goes to touch it, they easily could contract the monkeypox there as well. So similar to those early days of the pandemic with COVID, when we're all you know cleaning down every surface of the workplace, you're gonna wanna be bringing that back uh, to help you know prevent the spread of monkeypox in your workplace. More similar to COVID, monkeypox can also spread via the respiratory um, you know, fluids, you know, through coughs and sneezes uh, that can come from one person that's infected to another. So again, similar to with COVID, people that are coughing and you know sneezing and maybe suspected of having COVID, definitely wanting to keep them out, you know, away from the workplace as well. So the big question becomes, what do we do if one of our employees is suspected of having monkeypox? The first thing you do, send them home. Get them out of the workplace, similar with COVID, let's prevent further spread. Next, you're going to inform that employee that they need to follow up with their healthcare provider for an evaluation and possible diagnosis of monkeypox. If that diagnosis comes, you're then gonna have to plan for that two to four week absence or whatever else their doctor you know, states that they should be out for. During that time, you'll want to evaluate if that individual qualifies for FMLA and whether this absence qualifies for FMLA. In addition, that employee may have access to you know, their PTO bank or sick bank uh, if they have accrued time available to them. As an employer, you're going to want to consider an unpaid leave of absence you know, so they can come back in two to four weeks quite easily. However, what remains to be decided through the Department of Labor is whether this will constitute a disability under the Americans with Disabilities Act where you must keep that job 
job open for them. At this point, I don't think we're there yet, but I'm sure further guidance will come in the near future. Like COVID, it's important that we take proactive measures such as cleaning workplaces, sending people home, et cetera, to help prevent further spread of monkeypox, both within your workplace and throughout your community. I hope you enjoyed this quick, informative episode today. Don't forget to subscribe again so you do not miss out on further updates concerning monkeypox and the other issues keeping HR professionals up at night. I'll see you again next time.